Hi, welcome to today's episode dedicated to Microsoft Cloud for Sustainability. Actually, yesterday we celebrated Earth Day. It's a great opportunity to offer you a high level demo of the solution. So I already created a trial environment. So what you see here is the preview. Microsoft announced the general availability. When you open the application, the first page that you see is the getting started screen. And I recommend to you, if you are new to it, go and check the videos out. Um, it's uh, about um, helping you to understand what you can do with the solution. But of course, what are the steps? And actually the first step is to connect to your data. If you go to the connections page, you will see that um, first, of course, it's blank, but you see this create new data connection. And actually, this is the place where you can connect to your data sources. If you speak about activity data, maybe you have some ERP systems, maybe you have some IoT devices already that are collecting some data, producing some emissions, and you want to bring the data here. Well, this is the place where you can go. And as you can see, so let's go and pick, for instance, the stationary combustion. You can see that there are different ways to connect to your data. So first we have some import and actually this is using Dataverse and the common data model for sustainability but actually if you already have the data in different data sources you don't need to bring it in Dataverse what you can do instead is to click on more connections and actually you will see the possibility of using a lot of connection types so maybe you have some data stored in SharePoint or maybe you already have uh, a dataverse somewhere your CRM or your power platform and you want to connect your data from there where you speak about Azure Azure SQL database and Azure Synapse uh, Azure warehouse where you already bring your data so it's really easy to connect on these sources and after you connect to your data you need to uh, have a look on it and this is different ways of looking at the data there are some industry standards we have some scopes that can be defined as you can see this is part of the application so you don't have to define your own scopes the first scope are emissions that are owned and produced directly by the organization during the manufacturing or industrial processes then we have the scope 2 which is practically emissions that are indirectly produced by purchased energy for instance and we also have scope 3 yeah every organization has some business travel some capital goods and so on so during the value chain Every organization is producing some energy somehow, and this is something that needs to be um, reviewed. After you have your data, after you define how it looks, you will have to, and you have the possibility to analyze it. And Cloud for Sustainability solution comes already with some pre-embedded Power BI dashboards. If you already use Power BI and you, if you already have your visualizations, then you can embed them here. So only to give you an example of scope one, like I said, these are direct emissions. Uh, if we are looking at some sample data that I am using for this, uh, for the purpose of this demo, then we have the diesel fuel that's uh, reduced compared to last year. And as you can see, there are a lot of nice visuals that help me as a company to understand what is my objective, what I have to do in order to meet my target, in order to meet my carbon footprint. And last but not least, what I want to show you are the calculations. So the solution comes with some predefined models, like let's take the mobile combustion. You can see there are different reports and different algorithms that are used in order to calculate the correct carbon footprint. And for instance, the condition is that if we are speaking about a road vehicle, then there are some specific documentation that and the specific calculation method that needs to be used out of the box we have the documentation of the environment protection agency from the us and we already have some emission factors that can be used depending on your location you will use your own emission factors and calculation algorithms 
But depending on your uh, company location, maybe you will use other emission factors. Of course. Last but not least, uh, the app comes with some dedicated uh, settings page where you can have um, some report settings. Maybe you want to define some unit groups. So it's pretty flexible in this way. And of course, we speak about a power app, a power app that can be extended. So this is only the out of the box solution. I didn't touch it. This is the standard. You will bring your own customizations. You can bring your own report, your own data to it. And of course, your own processes and uh, enrich it, let's say like this. So as a conclusion, you can use Microsoft of cloud for sustainability uh, a great solution that combines power platform and also allows you to connect to different data sources if we speak about azure synapse or warehouse this is only one possibility of course you as a company can have your emissions stored everywhere and it will allow you to measure to report to reduce and also to take some measurable actions efficiently if you use the solution. Thank you very much for your attention. I wish you a great sustainable day. Bye bye.